He's already kicked over 20 people out of here. John Paul Melanson is worried. He knows he's next. This is a 60 day to vacate notice. It was dropped off by the manager of the mobile home park where he's lived for 14 years, Creekside Estates in Kansas City, Kansas. I've never been late paying my rent. Always on time, even when I had to pay it at the office. My bills were paid up, my taxes are paid up. But none of that matters under Kansas's mobile home park eviction laws, even for those who own their mobile homes, like Mel Anson does. They don't have to give any reason, and they just give you a 60-day notice saying, I'm canceling your lot rent contract, uh, and you need to leave. Casey Johnson is with Kansas Legal Services. These are people that are just trying to find a home, and they think by buying this home that they're protected, and that they're going to live there for years and years, and don't realize that they can be kicked out after one. Most Kansas mobile home parks give tenants an initial one-year lease. After that, they're living month to month, and that's when nearly every eviction happens. Some tenants believe they were evicted because they were too demanding. I kind of threw a little tissy. Or because the park thought their mobile home was an eyesore. I'm afraid to take anything out of it. Others believe the sole goal was to bring in a new tenant at a higher monthly rate. But no one knows for sure since the mobile home park doesn't have to give a reason, even to the judge. Although mobile home park evictions are a problem across Kansas, Creekside Estates has been particularly aggressive, Johnson says. Just this week alone, there are three evictions on the court docket, all from this one park. Linda Wager with Fox 4 News. We tried to get answers. Because you have a higher number of evictions than almost um, any park around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you're aware of that. Uh, I, I don't know about that. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Does, I it, tell does you. it concern you so, what's happening to some of these people? Once you you know where they're going to go or what their options are? Okay, I'm going to ask you to leave because I'm not going to answer any more of your questions. So I what concerns people like Johnson, who have represented multiple people being evicted, is that besides having almost no legal rights, they also have few options for housing. They could move their home to a new park, but most don't have the money. Either pay anywhere between $8,000 and $12,000 to move the mobile home. They could also sell the mobile home, but it can be tough to find a buyer, and a park might need to approve the sale before it can go through. Luckily, after we started working on this story, the park's manager did have a change of heart for Mr. Melanson. She agreed to drop the eviction case against him and allow him to keep living in his mobile home as long as he follows the rules. He says he'll do his best. Worried if he loses this home, he'll be homeless. Advocates say Kansas law needs to change to give mobile home tenants better protection against evictions. Mr. Melanson says he's written to the governor and is hoping to hear back. We also suggest he write to his state legislator. Linda Weger, Fox 4 Problem Solvers.